What's up, bros and hoes? It's Ashley Optic Midnight here, bringing you another episode of Duel Me. Today, I have my very good friend, Aaron, or Anza. Is it your catchphrase is Anza, or your, your gamer tag, or whatever? Evil Anza. Evil Anza. Okay, that's right. Okay. I've been, I just see Anza, and I'm like, that's how I, how I remembered you. But, um, so we got your beast, uh, gameplay here today, right? Is this, is this a Moab you got going on? Yes, yes. It's a Moab gameplay, uh. Uh, I was actually honestly trying to go for a clip in that game for uh, the next team touch that my team has going on. And instead of getting a clip, I ended up hitting this four minute game and I was just like, oh, oh, well, well, why not keep it, you know? So four minute mob with the MSR, that's pretty crazy. I know that that is a sweet spot for clips right there on free for all. There's just so many entrance points and there's so many spawns. It's, it's a good way to get a beast clip. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I hit clips on that map a lot. It's just, I don't know what happened with this game. It just didn't happen for me. So I was like, ah, this well, still works, I guess. at least you got a Moab. And now here you are with me, and I'm talking over it. So it ended up working out for the best. I bet you probably didn't think that when you got the gameplay. No, uh, I honestly did not think this would ever happen. Like, I, maybe it would have happened sometime in the future. But when I got that tweet, I was just like, wait, what just happened? What? Yes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know, this dual me thing that I'm doing is I do dual comms with uh, subscribers or whoever wants to do a dual com. All you have to do to have a chance is like the video and comment. And so I chose a random comment and I chose uh, Anza's here. And I was just like, like, I recognize your name because I've seen you on Twitter before. I'd seen you tweeting me. And um, I went to his channel and you actually you have like a lot of a surprise because most people that watch my videos, I do go to people's channels when I when they write a comment or something, you know, I go check them out. And some people usually have in between five and 15 uploads. You have like over a hundred. So what yeah. like what kinds of stuff do you like to do? You said you're on a team or what? What do you like uh, to do? Well, recently I'm usually I was usually I started off YouTube by myself. Uh, you know, my friends would help me advertise my channel and whatnot if they wanted to. I, I wouldn't force them to say, hey, you know, share my channel. I, you know, I, I try to do this for fun. I don't really do this for anything else, really. I mean, every, like all the subscribers, all the views, I honestly think it's just a plus. Um, right. The, video, the kind of videos I put out is like, I'll, I'll try and do something like tips and tricks if no one else has covered it. But sometimes usually like Woody's Gamer Tag or... T Martin, or, you know, those big YouTubers tubers out there will just, you know, put it out there before I do, and, you know. Yeah. So, so it's kind of hard to get um, stuff that's your own idea, but at the same time, somebody else already came up with it. Yeah, that's true. That's true for a lot of things, too, not just like Call of Duty YouTube. It's like you try to be original and you try to, like, be that, per that different person, but, you know, it's hard because a lot of people are trying to replicate each other, but you know, it seems like you you're doing your thing. You're doing a pretty good job. I mean, you're. It seems it's good to have dedication to something that you're having fun doing, which that's just how like I started or whatever. So it was pretty crazy. Oh my God, you got the Moab. Look at you go. <laughs> that was a bit crazy. That was. That uh, is, that was yeah. I, <laughs> when I used it, I was like, wait, I had a Moab. Like. I, it just it just hit me like when I died I I was just thinking in my head like it was it was processing yet and then I saw to my bottom right screen and I was like um like, wait uh, oh I, crap ain't right wait <laughs> all right That's whatever cool, I, I can I can deal with it <laughs> that works so uh what got you into like watching Call of Duty on YouTube and all that type of stuff and what made you want to do like your own channel I guess. Well, I guess if you want to hear the long story, the short story, I mean, I can kind of make it like a little short story, but uh, it all started with my cousin um, who lives in Vegas, kind of like a step cousin, actually. He introduced me to the Xbox 360, and my first game was actually Call of Duty 4. Um, so I played that just for a little bit, not too much. I wasn't like all hyped out about it. I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. You know, I was more, mainly a Counter-Strike player on the PC up until my junior year. And then I got a PS3, uh, which broke out broke uh broke down on me uh, oh no about a year after so i was just like ah oh, i don't really want to spend like 300 dollars on another ps3 so i ended up getting a 360 because my brother had one my little brother yeah yeah and he was like oh yeah you gotta get 360 because you know people are so much better on it and all this and that and i was just like i don't know it's true it's true no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> and then uh i find out later that a lot of my friends had a 360 so i'm just like okay okay you guys gotta add me because i'm a noob and i don't know how to, this 360 thing works and this was still in 2009 at the time so you know i'm playing with my friends you know and i'm just they start talking about youtube 
And I'm just like, the heck is that? Like, I knew what YouTube was, but I didn't know, like, people put up gameplays on YouTube uh, with their capture cards back in the day. And I was just like, man, these guys are good. And then I, when I heard of Optic in 2009, I was like, wow, these, yeah, I can't, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I snipe. remember the first time I saw an Optic video, I was like, holy shit. Like, it was the coolest thing yeah. ever. They, they were definitely something else that I was have never seen before. And when I saw, just when I saw gameplays in general, I was just like, man, I, wish I could put my gameplays up there. And, you know, I was in high school, so it's like I didn't have this kind of money. I, I, I'm, I'm not like, I don't come from like a rich but I, or yeah, poor family. Yeah, yeah, so. Just, m- money was just never in my interest at the time in high school. Yeah, and all this equipment actually costs a lot when you put it all together, like, all this stuff, just to be able to start doing YouTube, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I started this last year, uh, August, actually, but I just hit my one year um, almost uh, 11 days ago, I want to wow, say. Wow, that's um, good, man. And when I first got my PVR, uh, I used uh, my bonus that I got from the military to buy all the stuff I had. <laughs> oh, so, that works. Wait, yeah, so you're so- in the military? Yes, uh, I've been in the army since I was a junior in high school. Oh wow, that's cool. So, uh, what what do you do there? What's your? Uh... Uh, I'm a cargo specialist, where I just pretty much handle out um, what goes in and out of places. Uh, I'll, I do like a lot of things. Mainly, I'm learning. Recently, I've been trying to become an instructor for my unit to teach this program called iCodes, uh, where you pretty much ha- plan on how to load a ship or unload a ship. Dang, that sounds that sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah. I, feel like. I honestly compare it to Tetris a lot, like Tetris. Okay, so it's like a puzzle in in like a in real life. Yeah, they just hand you a piece of paper that has like thirteen hundred pieces on it, and by pieces I mean like equipment and stuff. And it's not just you know boxes and like containers; it's like trucks and ammo and hazards and whatnot. And you just gotta figure out how, where it's gonna go on a ship. Oh, so, dang. It's it's crazy how many jobs you think about that are in the military, like, just within that. You think, when I think of a soldier, I think of just, like, an inf- infantryman. Yeah, but, there's definitely a lot of, like, jobs. Yeah, there's a ton of different positions in there, which is crazy. Wow, well, well, thank you for serving, I guess. I always got to say that to a, <laughs> to an army uh, soldier when I meet one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, though, and it's cool to see you, like, it's cool to see people also, you know, have that passion to serve our country and then also, you know, gaming and YouTube still be into that and being like that social person. So I think that's really cool too. So wow. So anyway, um we went over the gameplay. Your gameplay was a little short, but I still wanted to talk to you for longer than 4 minutes. So Yeah, yeah. I hope that's okay <laughs> I, with everyone. I kind of I kind of knew it was too short. I mean, 4 minutes a dual comp. But it uh, was it was worth <laughs> it because it was a sick Moab and we'll just put some kind of booby picture or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I like free throw. So. Yeah, I love free throw. So that's another thing too. And I thought it was a free throw Moab. I was like, "Go in, son, with a sniper." Like that's awesome. So Anyway, guys, I hope that you go and check out his channel. I'm going to put it in the description and, and all that good stuff. Go check out his videos. Um, it looks like you try to upload pretty regularly, right? So mm-hmm. that's that's pretty yeah. cool. So if that's what you like to do, you man, keep doing it. You know, hopefully, you know, you'll get more recognized than just doing a dual com with, with me, whoever I am. You know, <laughs> you seem like a really cool guy. and It'd be cool to see you go far, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yes. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, go check him out. And if you want to be on here with me, you could be in his position right now. All you have to do is like the video and comment. You can even say, like, if you want to talk about a particular topic with me. Or if you just want to do a dual com, just say, I want to do a dual com with you. It's all you have to say. And I'll randomly pick, and uh, hopefully it'll go as well as it did with this gentleman. So is there anything you want to add before we uh, take off? Uh, I guess might as well just give a little shout out to my team, M200 Rise. Uh, they actually just started the whole sniping competitive thing again, and um, I was just recently put on the team. Okay. And a big shout out to all my friends, and they all know who they are, so hopefully they're watching this, and you know, if not, <laughs> then I'll make sure they watch it. <laughs> all right, awesome. Well, I'll link your stuff in the description. It was really cool talking to you, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Say, say goodbye. All right. Bye, guys. This has been Evil. Have a nice day and peace the freak out. (laughs) Peace the freak out.
Real quick before I go, if you want to check out some previous videos, we got Face Off 2v2 Live Com versus some super like trash talker dudes, so that was a good time. Um, go check that out if you're interested. And on the right, we got some Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, been doing that Let's Play pretty consistently, so you may have missed an episode. Go check that out if you're into that. Otherwise, we got a random video. All my links are in the description. I fucking love you guys. Peace out. So I flipped off the edge. Yes, I fucking flew. And if a man can't jump, what's a man to do? And every